Aloha and welcome back to my channel. My name is Simran Shakti and today I will be guiding us through a moon time yoga flow. So I call my period or my time of the month where I'm bleeding my moon time. And this practice is inspired by this very inward energy it's also known as our inner season of winter for women so it's often a time of deep reflection and stillness and really just being with ourselves and the magic that comes with the mystery of being a woman of our femininity even if you aren't a woman or if you don't have a physical womb space, we all have this feminine energy and can benefit by being in an internal and reflective space sometimes. So for this practice, um, there's no props necessary or needed. As you can see, I'm practicing on a soft blanket rug and you want to be by a wall. So we'll be using the wall for a couple of poses in our practice. So if you want, you can pause the video here and situate your mat or your cozy blanket near a wall. So for our first posture, we'll be coming into legs up the wall. So how I like to get in this is just sit my hips close by the wall. And then as I lay down, kind of shift and then bring my legs so your hips don't need to be exactly against the wall. It can be a bit away from the wall. And then I just like to have my arms either up overhead or in a cactus shape for a gentle heart opener. You want to roll your shoulder blades down and back, down your back. And maybe rest your eyes close. This class will be a yin style practice. So we'll be melting in each posture for about two minutes. So allowing yourself to settle in. Connecting with your breath. Allowing your belly to gently expand with the inhales. And gently fall with the exhales. Being mindful that this is a time where our bellies typically have more fluid, sometimes more bloating. And so there's really no need to contract on the exhales. Just being really gentle and allowing your breath to be intentional and natural.
Now we'll transition into our next posture. So bringing the soles of your feet to the wall and you can kind of allow your knees to fall wide so the outer edge of your feet is against the wall. It can be really relaxed here. And just breathing into your belly, feeling this gentle opening through the inner thighs. And while we're here, you can shift your jaw side to side. And open your mouth. And stick your tongue out, just relaxing through the jaw, the throat. The forehead and the face, all soft. On an inhale, reach your arms long, taking a nice full breath. And on an exhale, and slide your hands down to support your knees, bringing them together. Take a moment just to stretch your legs up towards the ceiling and hold the backs of your legs and just roll out your ankles. And then we'll take a gentle twist. So being really mindful with your body here, we'll allow our knees to shift over to the right. So feet are still along the wall. You can have your gaze up towards the left. Or you can even just have your eyes closed. And leaving those natural belly breaths into this posture. On your next inhale, I like to just stretch my hands open, 
roll out the wrists. And then you can use a little bit of core, a little bit of leg strength, one by one, lift your legs back through the middle. And take a moment of breath to just rock side to side. Massaging out your low back. And then we'll take the knees over to the left. Finding a gentle twist. And settling in. Inhale to prepare to move. And then we'll bring the legs back up through the middle. Taking a breath here, maybe bringing soles of feet towards each other against the wall and just allowing your knees to open up wide and kind of shift your head side to side, bringing your chin closer to your chest. And from here, we can start to make our way up to a seat. So we'll spend three more breaths here. And then again, we'll use our arms to close the sacred book of our legs and knees. Just allowing your legs to fall off to one side. Resting your head on your arm for a breath. And then we'll press our way up. Coming into an easy seat. 
So I'll just turn to the side and grab some water. If you have water around, it's a good time to hydrate. So I have my left shin staggered in front of my right. We'll just inhale to lengthen through the spine. And exhale to fold forward any amount. Mindful that your belly is relaxed. And just allow yourself to slowly Come into your edge. Hmm. Maybe allowing your head to hang heavy. Breathing into the full length of your spine. Your low back and your low belly. And on an inhale, very slowly. We'll start to press into our hands, uncurling the spine and walking yourself up. And before we take this pose on the other side, we'll just come into this forward fold with our right foot in towards our left inner thigh left leg is straight and on an exhale you'll fold finding your edge and really honoring here without pushing or pulling just bowing forward using your hands to support you wherever you are On an inhale, press yourself up, uncurling your spine, taking your time to feel. And before we go to the other side, you can just 
Give your legs a little loving touch. Knees. Get your hands and again, just roll out the ankles. Maybe wave through your spine and shoulders. Just feeling what's here. And then we'll come to take these poses on the other side. So the right shin is staggered in front of the left. Inhale to grow tall and then exhale to find your edge. This side may be different. So being really attuned and gentle with yourself. Curiously exploring what is here as you breathe deep into your low belly and your low back. Maybe playing with you having your eyes closed. Relax through your jaw. <sighs> and on an inhale, begin to Make your way up. Straightening out your right leg this time. Left sole is in towards the right thigh. Inhale, lift. And exhale, bowing forward. Any amount. Softening as you come into your edge. <sighs> Inhale to uncurl your spine. Hmm. Rolling your shoulders back. Straighten out through both legs. And now we'll just plant our feet and take some windshield wiper motions here allowing your knees to fall from one side to the other
And we'll come into this little butterfly shape. So you can have your feet further than you normally would. And then have your um, ankles here kind of flex so that it's a 90 degree angle. And then adjust as you exhale your way down, rounding through your spine. You can even rest your arms on your legs and your ankles. Getting a big opening through the outer hips and the outer legs. Allowing your crown to drop. Creating space in your spine. And then an inhale, just start by lifting your gaze back up. Slowly bringing your neck and your head back in alignment with your spine. And then walking yourself up. And from here, we will come into a straddle pose. So being mindful, your straddle can be 90 degrees, it's totally perfect, or it can be wider, just honoring your edge. We'll inhale through the middle and exhale, plant your fingertips forward. And fold any amount. You may not fold very much, and that is okay. So you want to think about folding from your hips. And using your arms to prop your self up so that your spine is relatively straight. And you can kind of wave yourself side to side. And we'll make our way up, coming back through the middle. Inhale, reach your arms up. Maybe look up. And exhale, just bring your hands down. And we'll close with simple seated meditation. You're also welcome to lie down in Shavasana for as long as you like, if you have space after this video. <sighs> Wherever you are, you can bring one hand to your belly, one hand to your heart. You can also have your hands any other resting way that feels good. Just breathing natural into 
your body into the palms of your hands. Maybe inviting some gentle waving, undulating, or even circles with your spine. Allowing your face muscles and all of the muscles in your body to be soft and supple. And just taking this moment to connect with gratitude. Gratitude for your healthy body temple. Gratitude for your monthly bleed, your monthly shedding time. Gratitude for the intelligence of your body. And gratitude for your own.